Hi, uh, Peter Tomlinson with you again. Um, another tutorial, uh, especially for my Western Connecticut students. Hi, all of you out there. Hope you're all well. Um, but for anybody who might be interested in this topic, which happens to be how a jazz piano player might play a walking bass line on a standard tune like How High the Moon. Uh, I'm going to just play this for you one time and then I'll get into the uh, into the nuts and bolts of uh, how I came up with uh, the different things that I did on this particular tune. All right, and I'm going to use my little drum accompaniment here to play with me. Uh, I'm going to take it just a nice easy tempo one time through chords in the right hand, uh, walking bass line in the left. Okay, how high the moon with a walking bass line. So what we're doing uh, for this particular arrangement was I was comping chords with my right hand, and in this case I was only using the third and the seventh of each chord. I'm in most cases I'm playing the root of the chord in the bass with my left hand almost every time. So that really makes the chord sound full when I just use the third and the seventh. Okay, there's plenty of other ways that you could voice the chord, but this is a good place to start. So remember that for your major seventh chord, this tune starts on G major seventh, we're playing in the key of G, starts on the one chord. So major third, major seventh, creates a G major seventh chord, okay? And then in the third, fourth, and fifth bar, I recognize a two, five, one in the key of F, okay? So I'm going to play my G minor 7th, that's the 2 chord. I'm going to play a minor 3rd and a minor 7th. And then to go to the C 7th chord, I simply lower the F down to E. That creates a C 7th chord. The intervals are minor 7th, major 3rd, C 7th. And then I'm going to F major 7th, okay, resolving to the major 3rd and the major 7th and so forth. You know, we've been working on these kind of voicings uh, throughout the year, so these should all be really familiar to you. Okay, so that's the right hand. In the left hand, um, I was using the three walking bass lines that you have a handout for that, and combining that with easy bass lines, which you also have that handout, uh, combining the elements of both sheets. If you haven't watched uh, my video, Three Walking Bass Lines, please do that uh, and then come back to this video because I think it'll be really helpful to you. And also, if you haven't watched um, Seventh Chords in C, that's really going to help you also with uh, um, the other video that you're going to be watching where I'm arranging this with three note voicings in the left hand and melody in the right hand. So we're putting these things to work uh, on How High the Moon. So, to get it started uh, in the bass line, um, I wrote my notes starting on this G here, below middle C. I wrote these notes in this position because it's easy to read. Pretty much everything is right on the staff. Um, but I'm going to play all the notes an octave lower. Much more 
you know, convincing bass kind of register. Uh, it's going to support the chords more, it's going to sound fuller, and really that's where the bass is going to be playing most of the time. Okay, so writing it up here, but playing it down the octave. Um, so just to get into the nuts and bolts of what I did, and I'm going to be sending these things out as uh, attachments in an email that you're going to be getting. Uh, I started with the walking straight down the scale from the uh, easy bass line um, examples. But I made one little adjustment to it because if I did that exactly as written, I would wind up with G on the fourth count of the second measure, and then I'd be pl playing it again on the first count of the second measure. Not bad, but um, I thought it would be better if I approached the G from above. Okay, so that, that sounded very natural and uh, really strong, and it leads to that, that G root again really well. So a little bit of a variation on straight down the, the uh, scale. Then in, bars, uh, in bar three, um, if you refer to the three walking bass lines, you'll see that the first one is walking up the scale, the second one, the second example is walking down the scale, and the third example is up the triad and then approach the next chord. And this works really well for a 2-5 or a 2-5-1. Okay, so I used example three, up the triad, in this case G minor, right? One, three, five, and then I'm approaching the C7 from above. Okay? D flat to C. And then in the fourth bar for C7, I used the first example, walking up the scale, but I'm gonna need to use a chromatic note. So to walk up C7. Okay, and these are all really tried and true bass lines that uh, you know, great ba bass players have been using forever. All right, the fifth measure, the same thing. And then, you know, you can follow along with my example if you want to. Uh, you might also notice that occasionally I'll repeat a note or I'll do some kind of a little rhythmic uh, hop just to make it swing a little bit more. I, I kind of like this, the sound of it. Okay, there I repeated the G. Something like that, you know. Give it so it doesn't just sound like straight quarter notes all the time. Makes it, a little, makes it swing a little bit more. I did one other thing that is not on the sheet. And if you look at measure 15, where uh, the chord progression goes B minor 7, B flat 7, A minor 7, uh, I repeated the root on those. Okay, and you can do that occasionally. Um, Maybe not too often, but once in a while it sounds good. Okay, so that can be done also. I think everything else is pretty much straight out of the uh, examples on three walking bass lines and the other handout easy bass lines. So um, have fun with that. Try your bass lines. Really fun to play in like a duo context uh, with a vocalist or a saxophone player or uh, you know, any other instrumentalist, uh, don't play a walking bass line when you're playing with another bass player, okay? They won't appreciate that. Uh, but otherwise, it's really a fun technique to play. All right. Um, oh, I guess I didn't mention also, uh, I did a little rhythmic comping with my right hand. Um, so I'm sprinkling around some chords that are sustained and some chords that might be a little bit more rhythmic. Also anticipate the measure. E four one ba, da, ba, da. rhythms like that. Okay. At first, you might want to just play sustained chords until you're really confident about all the different elements that you're playing. But once you get once you get uh, you know confident about it, go ahead and be more rhythmic with your right hand and uh, with your left hand also. All right. I hope this was helpful, and uh, I hope everybody's taking good care of themselves. All right. See you soon.